worse than having somebody who's a good kid and, and lose them to something because they take something one time. A three-part long-term plan to reduce jail overcrowding, increase the resources available for addiction treatment, and save the taxpayers money. It's part of an ambitious plan laid out by Attorney General Wayne Stengem. Thank you for joining us tonight. Stengem is looking to become the next governor of North Dakota, and the June primary is just weeks away. Valley News Team's Bradford Airy questioned the Attorney General, asking him why this announcement is being made now and what it hopes to accomplish. Why this an announcement now? Be you know, I think that there is an increased awareness among legislators and citizens that we cannot continue with the inexorable increase in the costs of incarceration and ever building more prisons. Stengem says in 2005, 1,329 inmates were locked up statewide. Last year, it was 1,751. And the costs for new correctional facilities and expansions went from $83 million to $178 million in a decade. Or we can address the fundamental issue for many of these people, which is that they're addicted to drugs, or alcohol. He says his plan would first address the shortage of licensed addiction counselors in the state, and the qualifications for that job include getting a college degree, then 1,400 hours in a clinical training program, references, and passing the license exam. Why didn't you do more in the past to stop this problem from well, happening? Well, we have done quite a bit, and of course, this is not something that is unique to the state of North Dakota. The whole nation is seeing a problem with the opioid epidemic. But what about those people who look at this problem and say, yes, we need more treatment centers, but not in my town. Remember West Fargo? A methadone clinic was going to open in 2014 until the city banned it, citing a lack of transparency with the company. In Fargo, for example, there is a shortage here and there is a need for more, but in the rural areas, the need is even more critical. The primary election in North Dakota takes place June 14th. Bradford Eric Valley News Live. Doug Burgum is also looking to become the next governor of North Dakota. His campaign put out a statement today reading in part, it's, pa part, it's past time our attorney general begins making these issues a top priority. And as governor, I look forward to working with him to address this important statewide crisis.